There's been a lot of questions and pushback following President Biden's vaccine mandate announcement last week. Several Arkansas Sheriff Departments over the weekend saying they would never require their employees to be vaccinated. THV 11's Mercedes McKay has more on the legality of the mandate and how some employers are reacting. While cases continue to climb and vaccine rates aren't where leaders and health professionals want them to be, President Joe Biden announced a vaccine mandate Thursday. It will require private employers with more than 100 workers to mandate vaccines or offer weekly testing. Local lawyer Amanda Orcutt says Biden is doing this through the federal agency in charge of workplace safety, OSHA. OSHA has rulemaking power to protect the health and safety of workers, even in the private sector. So um, le legally speaking, OSHA does have rulemaking authority. According to ORCID, OSHA has a power called Emergency Temporary Standard, or ETS. They can issue these to protect workers from, quote, grave danger. President Biden has decided that COVID-19 falls into that grave danger category and that this vaccine is the way to address it. Before these rules come down, ORCID says there's a lot employers can and should do in the meantime. First, figure out how you'll track employees' vaccination statuses. Second, decide whether or not to to allow employees to choose the testing opt out and figure out how you'll compensate them for that time. Third, talk through protocols for employees who have valid medical or religious exemptions. And last, decide what you'll do when there's pushback. I think the atrocity here isn't the vaccine. I don't I don't think it's even people that want to encourage people to get it. I think the atrocity here is that our choice is being taken away. Cleburne County Sheriff Chris Brown describes the requirement as tyranny. He was one of the many Arkansas sheriffs who posted a letter over the weekend saying he will not mandate the vaccine for his employees. I want to reassure my folks like, hey, your your ability to choose your right as an American citizen to choose what is the best health option for you is, is secure as long as I'm here. But Orkut says employers could face penalties up to $14,000 per violation if the mandate isn't followed. What is a violation? Is that one employee who doesn't get vaccinated? Is it every time that employee shows up? So is it every day? Those are all things that we're going to have to wait and see how those questions are answered. Mercedes McKay, THV 11 News.